Hello and welcome to Shout It Loud Reviews. I'm Steve Polfim and I'm taking over this uh, little section of the site to take you through some tips that you can learn from your peers. Let's dive in for firstly for a little piece of context as to why I'm here. I'm from uh, I'm the founder of Music Launch Hub, a place that brings industry and musicians together to collaborate on their careers. Uh, and I'm also the host of the Music Launch Summit, the world's largest virtual music conference, which is going live at the end of September. Uh, so after interviewing 40 plus of the world's best minds in the music business, I, I think I've got a, a few ideas up my sleeve about what it means uh, when you listen and learn from your peers. And I want to take you through three of my uh, favorite takeaways from, uh, from doing the summit and from interacting and building the Facebook community uh, that I've got running there. Uh, here are my top three things. <laughs> When you listen to your peers, everything shrinks. At the beginning, it's easy to feel like, I don't, and I'm an artist too, it's easy to feel like uh, our opportunities are a million steps away or the people that we need to connect with in the industry are never going to talk to us. The more that you dive in and the more that you listen to what's going on around you and, and also your fellow artists too, you see we're actually all a lot closer together than we realize, two or three steps away from each other, and that's everyone. So I want you to think right now what it would be like if everything felt more in reach. And I can tell you, the more that you listen and the more that you talk and uh, action ideas that you get from other, other peers, you'll start to feel that actually everything is pretty close together. What does this look like in practical terms? Find some people to connect with today. I would say even just one new person. Reach out to them, say hello, talk about them, and you'll start to see that there are a lot of people that are up for a chat, that are up to help, and we are all in it for each other. Number two, openness opens doors. It's really easy to feel like we're on our own path and giving to uh, giving opportunities to other people might mean that we don't get an opportunity next or to be comparing ourselves to other artists and going, well, why aren't I getting that opportunity? Openness to learn and share and help is hands down the thing that makes the difference. And we and this is practical too. We see this in artist communities that build over time. Little labels that pop up and, turn, and, and explode are usually coming from a group of people, a core group of people that are in it for each other. So I'll say right now, if you're open to learning some new things, to sharing some ideas, to helping your fellow artist out, to helping your industry out, to helping your venue out, Things start working, and even if they don't start working immediately, they will pay off much larger down the line. Be open to learn, be open to try, and do it for the long game, not for the one quick win today. <laughs> Tip number three, and my favorite bit, coming from somebody who used to be a terrible, crippled introvert. Uh, it still is a piece of me. I'm just a lot more open to, uh, to being out there today. But I want to say that listening to peers and learning from our peers creates one big thing, and that's confidence to not just get out there, but confidence to play. And I say play because everything we're doing out here with our music is we're playing music, but getting our music out there is playing as well. It's no different from getting in the studio and crafting a song. Trying out that new social media strategy is playing. It's playful and it's creative. Figuring out where you want to spend your time with your audience is playful. Figuring out who you want to work with is playing. And I'll just say, if you approach everything as playing, then things start getting a lot more fun. Even if it's things that you think you're not good at, you can get good at it. If it's not things that you might not enjoy at the beginning, it doesn't mean you're not going to enjoy it later. Sometimes we need to get uncomfortable to figure this stuff out. But all I'll say is the more that you listen to what's going on around you and take some advice from people who have been there, done that, you'll see that they've been there too. They have found things uncomfortable as well. And a lot of the gold, a lot of the enjoyment is over the other side. So come and have a listen to what's going on around you and, you, and start playing. No matter how scary or daunting it might feel, no matter how introverted you might be, uh, there is a beautiful confidence that you can find just from listening to your peers and then getting out there and giving it a crack. 
Thanks so much for hanging out uh, on this uh, on this little uh, tip run. I've had fun. Uh, I'm Steve, and I hope to see you at the Music Launch Summit or inside the Music Launch Hub. It the hub is there 24/7, 365 days a year, and I'd love to get to know you. Come and share me a track. Share me what you're working on. I can't wait to get to know you.